but we're almost ready to go in about seven seconds. Bart, you good to go? Zoe? I am indeed. All right, yep, all good. Let's get it. Welcome, welcome. How you guys doing? It's a live stream. Uh, number eight? We had number eight already, folks? The Ocho. The Ocho. Welcome to the live stream. The Ocho. Uh, I'm a host. I'm a third of the live stream. We're all live. I'm joined by Blart and Zoe. Blart, say hello to the people. Howdy, howdy, y'all. Or, uh... Hello. Hello. Howdy. This is me, Bart. <laughs> howdy, howdy that works. Was, that was uh, way more Texan than I expected it to be. <laughs> Very aggressive. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Howdy, howdy. Uh, Zoe, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you, Raw? I'm doing fantastically. Um, I'm in the middle of skipping an entire BT cycle, so I'm feeling rich uh, beyond my on my years. Blart, if you don't mind, real quick, um, with photographic evidence, what's the uh, gym count looking like over over in uh, Blartland? Blartland is uh, just it's just north of 380,000. <sighs> photograph, but I'm really lazy, so you're just going to have to trust me. Zoe, where are you at in gyms? I am at 349. Three, wait, so, 349? I'm ahead wow. of you. I didn't realize that. This so is I am dead. I'm petty duck stuff. Oh my god. I am, mean, baby? I am dead last right now. And uh, first off, shout out to the sponsor. High Life. Uh, sponsor of the stream. Big fans of High Life's over here. Um, it's been a week since we've seen all your beautiful faces. We see Goose. Shout out Goose. Cross 13. Eroli. Uh, Worry Chad, the artist formerly known as Syndical God, the Sopia Bard, all our friends out to play. Same Excalibur out there. Hello, Excalibur. Ooh, Excalibur's here. Rogue. Rogue. Basically, there's a bunch of you out there, and we're excited to see y'all. We could probably spend the rest of the night gushing, but... <laughs> About the we'll support. Our friends, our friends show us. Um, but it's been a week since we've been around. Um, what did you guys do this weekend, Bart? Did you have a did you have a big weekend uh, headed into fall? I think it was the first weekend of fall. It was. I, th I think uh, we're pretty much there, and uh, sort of. I went over to my mo uh, my mother's. She uh, had a knee surgery, so I helped her with some yard work and stuff. And in exchange, she introduced me to Ted Lasso, and I am in. Oh. I haven't like, been in love with a television show in a long time, but I'm like six episodes in. I, oh yes, it's so good. Ted Lasso is fantastic. I'm so excited you started it. Who's your favorite so that's character? That's why you've been talking about Ted Lasso so much. I was just like, <laughs> you've been bringing it up like every day. Ted no, Lasso? Uh, Ted well, Lasso? I, I, it, it's, it's so good, though. I just, uh, I mean, I, I, honestly, I, I got it. I think I'd say the friendship between Ted, Coach Beard, and Nate is my favorite character, but I don't know if a, fr like, if a friendship can be the favorite character. But just seeing that relationship Absolutely. grow has been just beautiful. Absolutely. Um, we are the Diamond Dogs. I think us three. Um, I'm obviously Ted Lasso. I mean, as if there was any question. Um, and then you guys can be either the other two. But uh, I love that show. That's great news. Bart, we'll chat about that. Uh, Zoe, how was your weekend? What did you get into? Uh, my weekend was good. Glad to be back on the show after some unfortunate circumstances prevented me from coming on last week. But uh, I got new glasses, which was like the biggest thing that happened for me this weekend. I can see again. I was going blind for a few weeks. So that's good. Um, not too much else other than that. I had some job interviews today. I think I did pretty well at them. So yeah, that's about it. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, it is becoming fall, and so, uh, as I've been saying the last couple of weeks, my weekends are just getting progressively and progressively more in character. Um, had a... Ooh, I do have to uh, kind of harsh the vibe a little bit, tell you guys about my boy Duncan. Uh, I know a lot of you guys on the TCC uh, server oh, know. Duncan. My little, my little man, 
uh, my dog, eight-year-old uh, hound mix, Duncan, uh, caught himself on some form of sharp object in the backyard. I don't know what it was. Um, and just really just tore himself up something awful. So we had to spend Friday night at the bet ER. Um, he got sutured up. Um, I They took my... Uh, my entire life savings and uh, <laughs> and and sewed him up, but uh, he's oh, good man. to go. Yeah, he's good to go he's now though. Recovering. And uh, he's... let's put some uh, dog emotes in the chat for Duncan. Real yeah, quick. everybody put some good vibes for Duncan. Um, but he's doing a lot better. Uh, he he I don't know what he got caught on, but you know he's doing good. So we'll keep eye on him. Uh, but other than that, everything was great. Uh, Saturday we had uh, a tailgate. Wake Forest played Florida State. I don't know if any sports fans are out here, but uh, I always gush about Wake Forest. Uh, how about them Deeks? Huge victory. Absolutely destroyed Florida State. Uh, tailgate went great. And then um, Liverpool and the Panthers won. So I had a literally undefeated weekend, and uh, everything went phenomenal. Um, Cross, where's the dog named Courtney? Um... I don't get that reference, but it clearly ties It's a out. total <laughs> drama reference, and I'm very happy that he made it. That totally made my night, and it's like we're like 10 minutes in. Perfect. <laughs> Zoe's glad she actually was on time and uh, it got to hang out with you guys tonight because you made a, what is it called? Total Drama. Total Drama Island That's and right. like the million sequels. Howdy, Yoshi Pasta in the chat. Joining us here. Lovely to see you. Yoshi Pasta, how you doing, my friend? Um, but there was some stuff that happened since uh, last time we were here. We did Transcendence. And that was fun. Uh, I did off stream the final. Um, I, I, I off streamed the uh, reckoning with exactly who they want you to bring. It went smooth as hell. Uh, Vaughn, Yuna, and uh, who's third? Setzer? I'll be Setzer. Yeah, Setzer. Um, what else happened? Um, we got one event, and I think. Blart should take us into this next event. What happened in Defo since the last time we've been here, Blart? Oh, 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 I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can't, uh, somebody clips. We just got a Blart uh, XF giggle. Chuckle. So, uh, basically, we are now in the best timeline because XFBT has finally arrived. Uh, the void is upon us. Embrace it. Love it. Nurture it. <laughs> it loves you. Um... This is the final BT before Lufania Plus, and it's also the best BT before Lufania Plus, appropriate and fitting, um, because Xdeath is a very slow character. Um, so, uh, I guess uh, <laughs> we should talk about what they got, huh? Um, there actually were three different characters who got some goods for this uh, this year this year banner for this event, which is kind of not, not I don't say nuts, but it's like whoa, that's uh, more than we usually do. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah no, spoiled. it's a lot. Uh, and they all honestly got good stuff. Kieran got his LD boards, and they're good. Um, the short version is his LD hits harder. Uh, he got buff extend, so it's easier to main... Like, he doesn't need to spend as much time spamming his useless skills. He can just spam his good soul shot and holy word strike. Uh, and the R's himself got improved. He got the HP damage up, the brave damage up. He got personal brave damage, so he just is whacking people harder. And soul shot got improved, so it's now a double dump with refund and I mean, So I... I always, I've always liked Kieran, but I just haven't used him much. I really want to uh, give him a shot now because uh, I know Queen and Queen has kind of been the best in class Aurobot we've had for a while, but I think Kieran's yeah. really going to give her a run for her money because he just shows up and has a bunch of battery and some decent personal damage and just good, good auras, including defense of all things, which just, you know, well-rounded. The one thing he needs is healing, but it's okay. Um, Did you get his LD? Or can you I, use I, him? I yeah, I actually I picked up his LD back when it for, for his lost chapter back when it dropped because at the time Warrior of Light was one of my favorite units and I thought I'd pair them together, but like right around that time I wasn't I was still not uh, I was still kind of getting my uh, my bearings in terms of how to be a, a you know good player and so turn counts started becoming my enemy with that team setup, um, but you know yeah uh, I'd have to interrupt Blart we unfortunately. Have our own mod uh, working against us. There's first off, there's a fucking Titus in my uh, boosted characters only lobby, so we're gonna disband that. Um, we're gonna run a couple co-ops in the background mean. while we chat. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not carrying a. If you have a zero, like a level one, level one 
boosted character, I will carry you through it. If you bring a a non boosted character to my boosted lobby, you're getting shit on. Um, but Daniel has redeemed something I didn't think people could get that many points. Eighteen hundred points to choose a character to sphere. Can someone in chat let me know what the actual rules of that are? Because he has chosen Fang, who is useless for the next eight months. So can I use a refine sphere? Is that, is that No, fine? you can't use Am a I refine a... sphere. Why not? If that's the rule what's the rule? How do I look and see the uh It's pretty lame. Just give her one real sphere. I don't want to waste a real sphere on <sighs> And then RVK <laughs> comes immediately in, and I will have to talk in an accent. So the show's been derailed. Welcome to the live stream number eight. We are 20 minutes in, and now I'm going... And I chug a beer! All right. Okay. So you guys don't want to see us succeed, and that's clear. Um, yeah, so no, uh, <laughs> Raw really just uh, needs to get a handle on the channel point economy. I think he's really underestimating how oh, many Lordy. people are in a given time. It's it's this happens every week. He's surprised every time. Why are no, you still surprised? I'm surprised because they all did it all together, almost like they were working against us in unison as a team. They did the accent, chug a beer, and sphere thing. So what I will do, uh, since they're all limited, I will get them all done right now. Then we can get back into the into the into the thick of it, into the good uh, the good content. Um, so this one's for Frog, and then I will sphere fang. fang. Um, <clears throat> any accent ideas? It can either be English, uh, Australian. Uh, I honestly, I honestly think if you do any other than like an American regional one, and this includes your British accent, it's going to offend someone. Okay, so we'll do like a uh, pick wisely here. I there's do, okay, this all right. Is the nice. Okay, we'll do um, we'll do Minnesota. How about that? Or like upper, you know, the upper, the the, the northern Midwest. Yeah, the finger, the Finger Lakes. All right, go for it. So I'm having a pop, yeah. Is that it? Yeah. I think that's Minnesota. So I'm going to have a pop here, and we're going to fang. Or are we going to sphere fang? Let's see. Where is fang? Ooh, blart. Oh, <laughs> this was your idea, blart. Uh, <laughs> what kind of sphere do you put on fang? And I got to chug this beer while you talk about that. What sphere should I put on fang? Uh, well, I'm gonna say you. Uh, between you and me, I think you can game the system and put a useless ass east, like big east e sphere there, because there are a bunch of good debuff spheres that uh, you could probably slap on there that you're uh, you're not gonna miss. Do you have like realm or Ultimisha or something bad like that? And for the rec reference record, I'm only suggesting that you shortchange our the person who redeemed this in this case because it is Daniel who deserves it. Ooh, that was cold. I mean, ooh, that was cold there, bud. Um, we're gonna do. What Blart decided, we'll do a little E sphere here. And uh, let's do this right here. Uh, okay, Daniel, Cold I hope you feel good. Colder than a Minnesota wiz uh, winter, yeah. Oh, shit. See, I, this is how you do it. I can't <laughs> fucking do an accent. Fucking Yo, oh, I'm never that. trying an accent Blart. on camera ever, ever, ever. No, that was that was not bad, Bart. Come on, give us one more. Give it. You can you can choose your own phrase. Just give us one phrase in a in a upper peninsula accent. Come on. Eh, fuck. <laughs> Fargo. Just channel Fargo. Have you ever seen Fargo? I We're have not. Really we, we actually talked about this earlier today. I, I just was like, uh, I was in my favorite movies list. Oh, yeah, yeah it was. We we agreed. Each of us only have seen one of the other's favorite movies, and in my oh, case, yeah, I've only good. seen one of. I've only seen Raw's favorite movie in script form. So, there will be blood is my favorite movie. Okay, so I paid off the chug. Um, we paid off the accent, and uh, this one's the last it's, one. This would be a bug, makes a good point. He points out that my name isn't... Wait a second. Is this a French accent? <laughs> I don't know. No, that's good. I, I do not know how to do a French accent. Oh, no, you do. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. I think I'm going to change the reward to make Bart do it, because that was actually a good French accent. So now I'll everyone's been paid this off. This is the worst timeline. <laughs> this is the darkest timeline. Maybe Weak we, guard down we'll for, <laughs> for Realm, and we'll be good. Look. Are you proud of your work, G Daniel? Gaming the system right here. We're perfect. Are you proud of your work? Thank All you right. Poto's here. Oh, yeah. Poto's here to calm us down. 
All right. Anyway, so before that absolute just pile on of railmen of violence, they <laughs> literally <laughs> submarined our show. Um, <laughs> we were talking about Sierran, our Kieran. Uh, Zoe, did you did you get Sierra, or did you already have Sierra, or what? Um, I got him on the way to X Death, so I wasn't really pulling for him per se, but I'm glad I got him. I don't really think I'm going to use him very much, but it's cool to have him. Um, I, do we talk about X Death much? Oh uh, no, we 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 only talked about Kieran's boards, I we're think, build, before we're building, that yeah. whole mess. We're, we're building, well, we're building up, so yeah. Um, Lion actually got ar arguably the most of well. You could say she got the most because technically speaking, she got a rework and an LD, which is more on paper. Um, the whole extra weapon stuff. She didn't get the most because Exteth got the best stuff, obviously. But of course, uh, deservedly unbiased. Lion, actually, no, I, I stand correct. Lion didn't get a rework. My bad. It just got a loaded LD, if I understand right. Yeah, the LD just kind of fixes a lot of her problems. Yes. Yeah. It's one of those LDs where it basically, like Vincent, it feels like a rework. Because basically what it does is uh, it gives her a buff called Bully, which I, I think is setting a bad example. I don't know about the... <laughs> I don't know if Squex has signed up for the Be a like, Star campaign or whatnot. She's bullying the... I think bullying your enemies is okay, in my books. Well, what are they your enemies for? If they're monsters from the Final are Fantasy like, universe, maybe. Are okay. your enemies other school children? Because that's problematic. Yeah, if, if you're pulling monsters Zoe, from the Final Fantasy, it works. But if it's just like... I am a student. Zoe's a bully, confirmed, by the way. You guys confirmed. are always complaining. I Where's Zoe? In my real life. Where's Zoe? Why is she not here? Well, she's always out bullying. busy bullying people. She's in detention because she was bullying her classmates. That's this right. This why my favorite movie is Heathers. <laughs> exactly. Um, I'd got Lion, so uh, as we kind of go into her kit, check out... Uh, the lion showcase going on. There you go. We're also going to show off what lion can do. Basically, oh look, at, look at the. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Blart. Look at the. Uh, look who's. Look who's in my little. Look who's in my little. Uh, co-op. Co-op. Look who it is. For you to hit the ready button. Just yeah, like look. sitting there waiting. For you to hit the ready Chilling, button. like picking your books. Like. Sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Like one. Anyway, lion looks great. She got bully. Hit the let's go button. Thank you. <laughs> She she got bully. She does big damage, right? Yeah, basically. Uh, in short, she uh, got a bunch of offensive stats: HP damage up, crit damage up, which is I think a very strong stat that I have in general. Uh, she now gets basically weakness damage across her kit, uh, pretty much without uh, any sort of like uh, setup, aside from pressing the LD. She also gets a sweet follow up attack that is a, d a two hit. Oh, okay, four hit double dump, or however you want to say it. Basically, it hits twice, dumps, hits twice has splash damage, so it's better than Garland's, which is nice. Um, and on top of all of that, all of her uh, her skills, which normally only, like, are at their best when she's not being targeted, they just are always in their upgraded form, so she kind of just got it all. Um, the one issue I have with her is that uh, I look at her and I'm like, I don't know if you, like, are gonna... If, if she's not a favorite character, I don't think she's going to, like, complete your roster in a way that, like, you may not... You, didn't already have the, yeah. unless you like really needed to dispel her. Yeah, she she does a couple cool things separately. Oh, I just did the wrong unit, but are the wrong enemy. But she um she doesn't do anything better than anyone else. But I will say, some girl who's also in this co-op right now kind of showed me um her damage is kind of crazy. Uh, I know she's a DPS, but um or partially DPS. She does really really pretty impressive damage now with the follow-up and and all the yeah modifiers. i mean you just saw that skill do 400k right there yeah, yeah that's that is some good strong modern damage output like that's yeah. it's very it's very much competitive yeah i don't think like if i've been trying to reframe how i think like should you pull advice type stuff to because you know with us we're all sitting at over three hundred thousand gems and we can yeah we can afford to have like a luxury unit like if if i like lion i can go out of my way to get lion whatever no skin off my nose for a player like um, either a new, relatively newer player who is having to kind of pick and choose their spots, or a player who just is day to day and like they or have one pity a month or something because they tend to spend as they get, I don't think that if like if you have Vaughn, if you have Tifa, if you picked up Titus, you probably already have the unless you needed to spell her, you already have you probably already have a unit who can do what Lion does damage wise. 
that said, very good unit, complete, like, not something, I, I wouldn't say easy skip, I would say, you know, give it a thought if you want, if you need a more modern damage dealer, or she's probably, she's going to be dope for challenge runs, I think, she has really strong, you know, modern damage, yeah. some utility, some turn manipulation, and outside of this event, she's not going to be banned, like, ever, I don't think. Um, I also just realized that I have, I'm pretty sure I have her, uh, Lufania armor, and I had her regular EX armor uh, equipped. So that's my fault. Um, one thing you don't want to do, probably, is this right here is blue her. Um, <laughs> the damage <laughs> the damage is great. Uh, oh, look, we got two friends of the show so in this co-op. That was uh, a big call out to some, some girl. girl. <laughs> some girl in Bard. Um, I saw multiple people in the community this weekend say, uh, I just... Uh, co opt with a blue lion, and both times I uh, in inject interjected and said uh, that was some girl. And sure enough, with the photographic evidence, both times it was some girl. So, uh, shout out some girl for the uh, for the blue lion. Um, I guess you know, you do it for your favorites. And like I said, I really didn't expect anything. I got her LD on a free ticket and already had her EX, so because um, I'm skipping this whole cycle. Uh, I was impressed. I'm, I'm impressed by her damage. I know she does other stuff too, but um, just as a pure damage dealer, she does some great. I mean, that wasn't anything crazy, but in the first one you saw, she did like 400k with a couple hundred k splash. I mean, on a skill. Yeah. She, yeah, she definitely falls into an interesting category for me where like she's totally good, and like if you like if. It reminds me, actually, in some ways, of Queen or Kieran, where, like, if you already have a really good aura support, you don't necessarily need to replace or to, like, add a new one to your roster. But that little bit of difference in terms of how the kit plays out, in terms of what the character does, like, how, you know, whether they're a turn sealer or, like, a slow, you know, sl slugger, those little things can add up if you're doing a more difficult challenge run or if you're trying to stretch your roster or something like that. Yeah, right. it just, like, opens up team building routes and stuff. And that's always fun because team building is, like, the most important part of this game. So. Giving yourself more ways to experiment will probably just add to your enjoyment of the game, in my opinion. Well, Agreed. Uh, speaking of having different ways to experiment and uh, being able to build unusual teams... Wait, can I, can I talk about Lion a little bit? I had one thing I wanted to say. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to bottle up my feelings on FDX for a little bit. <laughs> just just like two me. minutes. I Zoe's promise not, you can let it all out soon. No, look, um, you guys keep talking about Zoe, talking her up, getting her excited, and, and making her head all big, and now she just, just she's the boss. and she's. <laughs> shouldn't, you didn't throw it to me during the Lion section. What oh, was I supposed to do? Okay, all, right, that, all, right, all right, I'll take that one. That was my fault. Zoe, please go ahead. You're the fan favorite. Uh, what do you think about Lion? Okay, calm down. But basically, <laughs> I like Lion because I think having a self-sufficiency part to like your ability to deal your ability to deal damage is really nice quality of life. Characters like Sabin with the ignore defense. I think Lion's crit damage boost on her bully buff is such a nice thing for her, and it like she's always hitting her weakness damage now pretty much. And just having all of that together makes her really easy to plug into a team and. You don't have to worry about it, and you know that Lion's going to be contributing her part. So I just like having that option in a damage healer if I want to like build something without a super hard aura support. Uh, yeah. That's it. Okay, Blart, you can talk about X death now. <laughs> I agree, though. That's it's all that's all true, and uh, it depends on your roster. You both made great points about depending on your roster. Do you need Lion? Maybe not. But, oh God, we didn't we didn't mention the cursed arts. That is, that is oh, a big drawback. I will yeah. I will say that that's fair, RBK. Yeah, that's a good point. She does have cursed arts, yeah. but um, I, you both made like really solid points about a. Do you absolutely need her in your squad? It depends on your roster, but also can she slide into a lot of different team comps and really contribute? Especially if you're trying to do some like you know TCC challenges and stuff. Yes, she's uh, she's a great option. But uh, Blart, I'm so sorry. Please tell us this what's is, on this your is mind. your moment. Yes, please tell us what's on your mind, my friend. Oh, ho, ho, ho. anyway, um, <laughs> there's your second chance in case you're slow on the clicks. He did it twice. So, so the best character in the game uh, has received the best BT in the game. He also received the most powerful LD boards in the game. Uh, sorry, Strago, you are now number two. Um, but so X Death received 
a BT weapon, which we'll, we, we'll talk to about in a second. The LD boards and rework uh, basically tune up what he already did. It doesn't really expand upon it. Um, Exit has always kind of been about numbers, uh, you know, battering based on his attack stat, things like that, HP poison. And so they basically just jacked all those things up. Uh, he now batteries for more when he does his attacks, his HP poison, sap uh, are more effective. Uh, the LD finally does as much damage as his curse does, which is nice because that was always a weird timing thing. The debuff effectiveness as well has been increased. So his curse, which uh, comes with like attack and defense and speed down, has actually been amped up, which is pretty dope. Um, uh, I think that's about it on his LD boards, unless I'm forgetting anything. But basically, just all the numbers got jacked up. Um, his burst is the interesting part, and that's the reason why he's uh, he's actually like a useful and hype unit right now, uh, as a friend unit especially, because what it does is it, for three turns, on every action, uh, friend action, enemy action, AA, call, it deals a bunch of HP damage, similar to the poison, to both bosses based on uh, his attack stat, even more than his regular poisons, and it batteries the party based on his attack stat. So that's a whole bunch of true damage that you can very easily spam out, like, um... We've made, we've made a lot of use of the, the uh, Cloud of Darkness frame for stuff like that. Uh, the nice thing about Hexteth is it requires a lot less setup in terms of, like, getting over enemy defense or brave reduction. It just kind of happens based on his attack stat. The obvious downside is that it's harder to amplify because all you can do to make it bigger is stack attack. It also technically lasts for shorter, although Hexteth is crazy slow, especially if you take off the speed passives for your Hexteth friend. Um, the thing that excites me most about it is the fact that it it opens an entirely new role for him. Uh, similar to Cloud of Darkness, to a degree, in that originally x Death only really fit on um, kind of uh, enemy phase type teams, you know, debuff teams where you want the enemy to survive and kind of try to hit you and you survive it and kind of hit them on their, their turns of off-turn damage, things like that. Like, he could fit on, you know, you could obviously you can make any, like, I've used him on launch teams because I'm an idiot. Like, that, that happens. <laughs> but, Previously, he only really had one style, which is enemy phase. Enemy phase mitigating kind of tanky team defensive. Now, you can actually reliably run him on a zero boss turn team if you wanted to. You can run him with a Petitus or a Zell, who we'll be talking about, or a Terra. Um, or you could do, you know, he's really funny with Ignis. Just cook your enemies to death. And that opens up a whole new dimension of how he plays. And so that's why, basically, um, I've been in the process of learning to do cartwheels, because I was going to say I've been cartwheeling all week, but I actually... I'm still having some trouble just getting the feet in the air. It's I'm not as fry as I used to be, so you'll have to kind of give me some, some uh, Wait. generosity on that. Wait, you're do you're you're actually like physically learning cartwheels uh, with some difficulty. Like I said, I'm uh, I'm not as young as I once was, and um, <laughs> I keep, and I keep banging into furniture. Uh, is there a is there a reason you picked this week to start learning? Just just yeah. the celebration. <laughs> I've, been, I've been looking forward to X Death Burst for a long time, so you have to understand. Yeah, you. you guys give give Bart some love. He is a uh, a verified um, X Death simp. He loves X Death, so we're all happy for him. X Death has finally uh, come into his own, and we're all entering the void. Uh, shout out Bart. So with that, I've run. I've used X Death a whole lot. Have you guys? You guys have any experience with him? What are your thoughts? Do you just do you, have you just read about the kit, and that's all you got? What do you got for me? Um, I'll go next. I yeah. do have some experience as of like two days ago. I pitied him, unfortunately, but I do like his kit and I wasn't super upset about that, especially getting Kieran on the way. So what I'm most interested in is obviously how his BT effect affects like the different rush teams and like no turns and stuff like that, because I think he provides like a different kind of effect to abuse rather than Cloud of Darkness, for example, who he's inevitably going to be compared with. Because an important thing to note is that X Deaths works off of free actions like additional abilities and stuff, instant turn stuff, like the previously mentioned Ignis cooking. So that gives you a whole nother way to abuse it, which sometimes a Cloud of Darkness team wouldn't be quite good at because that would let the enemies unbreak faster and then COD would do their follow-up and then they'd like steal more turns. So X Death works into like these different teams and he also has a battery effect, which I think is pretty cool that like there's like a supportive role to it because the damage isn't quite as good as COD's follow-up generally. It's like I would say it's safer damage, but CODS has a higher ceiling, but Exodus is just, I just think he adds a super interesting 
role to the game as a burst effect, and I'm excited to see how he works in Lufania Plus. There's not going to be, we joke about characters being sent to die as soon as the difficulty switches, but <laughs> Yoshi there's pasta. lots of <laughs> yeah, he's he's being sent to the gallows as we speak, right before Zidane releases. <laughs> but basically, there's lots of Brave Gate Up characters we'll have that you can use to support him in Lufania Plus, and his debuffs are still going to be fantastic, so I wouldn't be super, super worried, and you'll find some good use for him. Yeah, I um I skipped him. We'll, we will talk about why in the future. Um, I think everybody knows why I'm skipping this cycle. Um, but I skipped him, so I uh, I am really happy for Blart, and I'm glad that Zoe also got him. Uh, we do have a bit of breaking news. Uh, that's why you guys tune in, I'm sure. Uh, breaking news, as the game has just updated, we do get a notice of privacy policy update. So, um, who knows what it says, but... Uh, that's breaking news. Uh, Doing ooh. a really good job wait, of wait, 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 breaking wait. the news down. Wait, 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 wait. This could be big. Pricing adjustments for certain currencies is also uh, breaking news. Um, basically, it costs, costs different amounts of money depending on where you live. And that's our breaking news segment. Um, X-Death is great. Uh, I wish I had him, honestly, especially for this challenge quest. But Exeth did come with a Lufania, and it was a hell of a Lufania. Uh, Zoe, uh, do you want to tell us how you handled it? Um, how did this Lufania go for you? Because for me, it was it was terrifying. Um, yeah, I'd be happy to. So, like I said, I pitied X-Death, which meant I felt pretty incentivized to use X-Death to get my first clear of this one. So... I decided to pair him up with Queen because she has a giant attack aura, and then I also used Aroha because I thought that the keeping battery would be good for excess damage, and that she has the really nice single target EX that does a ton of damage and doesn't have to worry about the break counters, so that went pretty smoothly. I think I used an X-Death friend too, and I finished with about 10 or 15 turns to spare or something like that, so... I used Synergy, it went well, and then I also did a no Synergy run so I could talk about it, but I will keep that secret for to-be-revealed reasons after Blart goes. <laughs> to be revealed. I just threw Zoe, Zoe's, um, Zoe. Uh, I just threw Zoe's uh, <laughs> uh, YouTube channel in the chat. Zoe Deschanel's. Yeah, check out Zoe on, uh, on um, YouTube. And Blart, uh, I know you kind of uh, went in-depth on the difference here in restrictive fights and just kind of generally tough fights um if you want to go into that i actually have to step away for one moment before we do some more Perfect co-ops time. yeah <laughs> classic the yeah. classic yeah. raw leaves for two power. minutes <laughs> like, like clockwork <laughs> it is it is I, and then i just let you guys do your uh do your magic so blart tell us a little bit about the fight and uh kind of your 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 take on it uh, thank you Ross. so Actually, uh, Excalibur in the comments pointing out that uh, he says this fight, this orb is one of them, you know, is ex insanely restrictive. And I have an inter I have a thought on that that I'm going to uh, touch on here during my my honors thesis about this fight. <laughs> um, so we're fighting the Astroths again, and these guys suck uh, as a rule. Um, I don't know how many of you were around for the Exeth Lost Chapter fight, but as much as I love Exeth, that fight sucked balls. Um, their big gimmick is one of them. They alternate having. It, and a yellow aura that says, if you break me during this, I basically mess you up. Um, you don't, you, you probably, you may not lose the fight, but you kind of lose the fight, sort of, unless you cheese it with the paralyzed thing in the lost chapter or what, this, that, the other thing. Um, so these guys are going to be throwing us some pretty strong HP attacks. They get giant brave gains while saying, you better not break me. Um, in my assumption is the theory there is you either use X-Death to shave it, or use poisons, or you just hit them hard enough that it almost breaks them and doesn't quite, which is kind of shitty. On top of that, there's the orb. Uh, the orb is kind of <laughs> kind of stupid. Uh, it's pretty silly. It gets plus one for if you apply two debuffs in a turn, which means it maintains the orb. It doesn't boost it. And this is kind of a problem because whenever the bosses go, it goes down by two and then goes plus one. So it actually, you have, you're on, if you're just using that part of it, it's, you're on a clock. Um, 
the other thing the orb does is it goes up by, I want to say 10, 8, big old number, if you deal HP poison damage with a debuff. Um, actually, not with the debuff, just if you deal HP poison damage. The way they phrase it, they always phrase these orb things stupidly. Um, but basically, it's if you deal HP poison damage. Um, so it's similar to how with the, uh, the sap orb, they just describe it really badly. And there's only one character in the game who can do that, X-Death. Uh, so you have to use either his curse, his LD, or his burst effect to deal them damage. So, here's why I wanted to kind of shout out to uh, Excalibur's comment. He, This orb is very specific. I actually don't want to call it a restrictive orb, which might sound kind of controversial. My reasoning is, as you've probably seen if you've watched any other any people's runs or done the fight yourself, the orb is actually quite manageable with an X-Death Call and or X-Death Friend. Uh, X-Death Friend in particular just kind of makes the orb a non-issue so long as you're bringing the recently modern team. Um, and this means that it's there's a lot of different teams you can bring to this fight, provided you can satisfy the condition of having an X-Death Friend or X-Death Call. And that means there's a lot of teams you can bring to this fight without needing to spend gems on the current banner. You don't have to spend a single, like, pulling resource. The you know, most you'd need to spend resource-wise would be the... Uh, use of a friend unit, or like a bunch of blue crystals. That's why I don't know if I'd call this orb restrictive. It's really specific in terms of what you need to do, but in terms of what you need to spend, it's not so much. And this is, at the end of the day, a gotcha game, and it's important to kind of look through, look at these things in terms of kind of the resources you need to spend. Because this is a, this is, first it's a resource management game, then it's a team building game, and then it is a, you know, turn-based strategy game. Those That's the order of operations in terms of how this game operates. So that's why I hesitate to say it's a restrictive orb. I would say it's specific, but it's kind of semantics, but I hope you, you kind of get what I'm saying here. The fact that you don't actually need to spend any resources of your own to get the characters means it's actually not as restrictive as people are saying. I think this jumping ahead, the pandemonium orb we're going to be facing where it's delete uh, in order to actually boost the orb, that's a whole different story because you're going to, you know, there's no... Uh, no free meals as far as deletion goes. I mean, unless you have a really slow mid Italian friend, I guess, or a really slow Zidane friend, which is kind of an oxymoron. Uh, we'll Zidane friend is pretty useful for Pandemonium. It yeah. occasionally Ooh. can solo carry, but you need pretty specific setups to do that. So pull for Zidane, be the uh, favorite person on your friends list, is the lesson I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be all set up here in the, the TCC <laughs> world. Don't worry, he's coming. Uh, yeah, one thing to add on to what Blart was saying, I actually am kind of more annoyed by the secondary condition for the X-Death Raid because the debuff application plus one thing I think normally would be fine, but the way these bosses work, it's very counterintuitive because a lot of debuffers are going to be doing AoE Brave hits, and if their debuff move is AoE Brave, they can't really click the debuff move, which kind of limits a lot of potential options that might have been good for this fight. Yeah, I'm about to give another uh, potential option. If you just want to cheese it, um, Terry Yong. As always, Terry Yong is it's always an option. The ever reliable Terry Yong. <laughs> um, I did Terry Yong, Dark Knight Cecil, just to uh, throw on his LD debuff and then fuck off. Um, but yeah, it, it, Blart's got a great point where you don't have to necessarily pull on the current banner to beat this fight so is it really restrictive or is it just uh i would just call it poorly designed rather than restrictive it's, yeah it's very specific in that like they really want x death to make an appearance during the fight in some capacity whether they you know whether it was an intentional choice by you know by design for that to potentially be a uh, you know friend units and whatever that's you know that's up to for debate and when it comes to friend units there is always the the fact that you know, as someone people say someone has to bite the bullet to pull for the character, and that's true. But I, you know, I think to a degree, there's going to everyone. Everyone gets pulled on, which in hindsight, don't clip that. That's very dirty. What I mean to say <laughs> is, every clip character, it, Daniel, has people who are going to try to get them, and uh, I, so I, I think I don't know. On a side note, I want to quickly sh uh, shout out to Goose, who did a really nutso run uh, basically effectively the equivalent of an extreme tcc challenge it was like no f no friend at all uh i think they just he just used the exit faith's call to survive the damn thing with like agrius and the team and it would just 
an absolutely bonkers run. I wanted to check him out since he, uh, shout him out since he's in the chat here, and uh, he is my British son, as I was saying in the pre-show. I'm tremendously proud of him, Goose. You, uh, I'm so proud of you, my boy. Just keep on, keep on keeping on. This is a wholesome father-son relationship here. Yeah, Goose is the English, uh, or the slightly more English version of Clark. So that's a, that's a, uh... Slightly? Slightly? Did you hear my accent? <laughs> uh, that's a, a, uh... Oh, Blart, um, who did you run? I don't think you ever got to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Um, so for the fir my first clear of it, uh, I brought XF because I'm no fool. And I, I, a similar idea to Zoe, I used Queen and I used Hope. Um, and I popped the burst effect and did a whole bunch of free turns and it was awesome. And I giggled madly while I did it. I had a great time. Um... In the commentary for the video, it did, the giggling came through just a little bit, but there was a whole lot more during the actual original run. Um, I actually did a rerun of it with uh, Warrior of Light Vaughn and originally Aroha, but then I did a second version of it with Dark Knight Cecil. It's the same principle either way, basically. The uh, the third person switches out for X Death Friend, and then Vaughn does Vaughn things, and Warrior of Light keeps the party safe. And um, I used a struggle call to break with Vaughn so that he could use his LD, and I think that's about all there is to say about the fight, in terms of how I experienced it. Yeah, it yeah, the, kind of sucks. Oh, um, did you, the funny did you, thing is that Blart and I both independently came up with the Vaughn, Wool, Aroha team, which is what I did for my No Synergy run, except oh, yeah. that my team is just worse in every way because my warrior doesn't have ingots and my Vaughn doesn't have BT, so I was just like the light version of Blart for this fight. Um, yeah, if you, if you want to not cheese it, you want to face it head on, it's, it's pretty restrictive in the, in the sense that you're going to probably need some form of X-Death. Um, you guys both mentioned, and Excalibur and Goose mentioned in the chat, um, base X-Death call in certain teams is all you really need, right? So, it's not that bad. Yeah, Raw. Uh, where's the... Weren't you supposed to bring an XTF friend to this? I don't know. What am I doing? No, it's fine. Um, I oh, know it's not fine. I'm gonna... I can't... It's, you're gonna die to the orb. Up, I can't up the orb. Oops. I forgot how I did this. How are you supposed to do this? Oh, no, I'm good. Thank I can you. just... Yeah, Terra debuffs on every button, but except for her, um, LD. I think I'll still die because, um, her LD doesn't do too. Yeah, that orb's gone. Oopsies. Actually, I do yeah, want to shout out actually to Excalibur, who mentioned um, he did a pretty crazy run himself with uh, Ultimecia and Young without like any X death of like. It is possible to do this fight without any X death appearances whatsoever because Excalibur did it. Uh, he's also kind of a once in a generation player to a degree, and so like, <laughs> I'd say it's possible. Like, not by your average shit schmo. That being said, check out Excalibur out on YouTube. Yeah. Excalibur, check out Excalibur. Yeah, Excalibur, feel free to, free to drop your uh, link. CM Hold, a uh, longtime friend of the stream, one of our first ever um, subs, has gifted five subs in the chat. Shout out CM Hold. We really appreciate that, man. Um, I know him as a big time Kingan Ashura fan. So if you guys like uh, Baki the Grappler, ch check out King and Ash. That's an inside joke. Um, anyway, uh, we're trying to cheese this fight on stream. I think we spent enough time on the fight. Right, guys? Uh, I'd say so, yeah. More than uh, it deserves. More than it deserves. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not yeah. the best designed one, in my opinion. Not very engaging if yeah. you want to, like, have an easy time with it. It's it's a little fun to optimize, I guess, but it kind of just ends up being bring Vaughn or Tifa and then build around them. So, yeah. yeah. Single target, don't break the other one, and uh, that's about it. Um, what else did we get? I think we had a couple more things. Or is that... Yeah, that was everything we got. We had a kind of slow week, right? It was just... Um, Lion, Sierra, X Death in this fight. Uh, yeah, there was like, yeah, it was like. Kieran. <laughs> what am I saying? You're, uh, you're saying Kieran, but you're doing, you're saying it wrong, is what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Bart. We, we can fight in a little bit, but right now I gotta shout out Goose. Follow Goose on YouTube, because Goose has just come through 
with the counter five gift subs. Wow. My a man. Boy. A beautiful boy. We got we to gotta stream earlier so Goose can always be on here. Uh, one of the first, of once we are ready to have some uh, uh, guests on here, I would love to get Goose. Uh, Goose, I know we've we've uh, really gushed over him in the past, but Goose is the 30-second uh, or less uh, character evaluations that are somehow hilarious and equal parts um, engaging and informative, each one. Check out Goose. Uh, 30 second should you pulls uh, are evaluations, I guess, but a really big fan of Goose. Thank you so much, man. We appreciate you. Taking the world by storm. You love to see it. You really do. You really do. Um, so that was everything we got uh, over the last week, but in about, what do we got in 36 minutes, guys? Uh, Blart, what's coming uh, in 36 minutes? What are we going to see? We, uh, we got Zande returning to us. Um, after, uh, after, it, what, eight, nine months or something like that, we got the, uh, the yeah, I mean, main villain of Final Fantasy III allegedly returning to, uh, haunt our dreams with his yeah. last chapter. Spoilers. Well, Zande predates my time with Defo. Spoilers, I'm, uh, I'm playing Final Fantasy III right now, so I don't know who the main bad guy is. It's okay, I said alleged. Okay, yeah, that's true. You never know. You never know. And so, uh, he is showing up with some LD boards, and Zell is showing up with a rework and LD, which is honestly too massive for me to get into. I've already covered it at length <laughs> alongside the Sophia Bard. Uh, Zoe, you want to yeah. talk a bit about what our, what these guys are going to be looking that's forward to in a in half an hour? I'm for this last chapter. Uh, I guess we can start with Zande, because... He does not get nearly as much. He just gets the LD boards. And they do a pretty decent job of helping him out. They're, they're very good boards in a vacuum. I think more of the issues are with Zande himself at this point, rather than anything he's getting in in this update. But basically, his, boards are, his board extension is going to be giving him a triple dump on his LD. It's also going to be granting him stacks of his overhead faster, and it's also going to be giving him self HP damage, self weakness damage, increases, and I think those are tied to like some level of his overhead stacks. So basically he just becomes a lot stronger and his potencies you will find being much more useful. And the ramp up time is not quite as bad as it used to be, so those are very useful things for Zande to have if you're going to be using him. He still does his AoE damage and enchant. Those are his main roles. But basically, we've had a lot of AoE characters come out since Zande. We, Strago is a very notable one. Squall, an older one now, but somebody who came out. Um, am I forgetting any other major AoE characters? I mean, technically nine. Yes. Nine can do some serious uh, AOE on his EX. Oh, and uh, Ultimecia. Sort of, kind of. Ultimecia kind of does fit that range, yeah. But basically, there's been more options for those triple target fights that you would kind of see Zonde thrive under. <laughs> Palum. We we don't talk about Palum right. on this stream. This is all a safe right. space okay, for uh, all of our co-hosts. Some girl, you were really quick on the trigger with the other people. Now we're being attacked, so uh, keep an eye on the haters in chat. Sorry, Zoe. It's okay. Um, That's that's pretty much it for Zonde. I think you can still have fun with him if he's favorite or if you just need an enchant- if, like, if you don't have many enchanters and you're a newer player and you're going for Zell, then Zonte's a good pickup still and you should build him if you get him on the way, but I probably wouldn't recommend people pull specifically for Zonde unless he's a favorite and you missed him. Uh, but he does help with his Lufenia, although there are a lot of other ways to deal with that Lufenia. So we should move on to Zell, who is kind of the star of the show. Again, my history of the game sucks because I'm a baby, but Basically, <laughs> Zell has been terrible for a very long time, right? That's yes. kind of the vibe I'm picking up. Yes, the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Okay, so it's good that Zell gets an LD now to finally push him into relevance. And 
I would say further than pushing him to relevance, I think it's a very good LD. So, Zell, before his, I, I can't really talk about before his rework, but I assume he was still kind of a chain-based character where his skills upgraded themselves. And now that becomes much more consistent, so his skills are now going to be linked to each other. So he has his first two skills... Uh, what are they called? Punch Rush and Booyah, I think? That sounds right. He he has a zillion skill names. I, I, yeah, they names. all change, yeah, they all change like over and over. The, the infographic, just as a reference for naming things. But basically, those skills are now linked to each other in that if he's over 50% HP, every time he uses Punch Rush, he will follow up with a Booyah, and if you use Booyah, he will also follow up with a Punch Rush. So while the skills look pretty mediocre for current era, because he's doing both of them every time, they're actually pretty awesome. And he, those are the things that grant him his dual buff, which is what expend or what changes them into the kind of the upgraded versions are Burning Rave and Meteor Barrage. So basically how Zell plays is he has a lot of free turns, I believe, that Punch Rush is instant turn and Booyah is high turn rate. And then he will link those into the upgraded versions. And what his LD gives him is a special buff called Light Speed something, Light Speed Special, that gives him more turns to spam his skills. And it's really hard to describe his kit if you haven't played it, but basically it gives him. The, the, like, the slang way to say it is it's a mini burst phase because he gets to take a bunch of turns in a row and he finishes it with an upgraded version of his LD that's like the classic run around the earth light speed punch that he does in Final Fantasy VIII. So, very faithful kit to what he did originally. He has a, thanks to, I was gonna get, got me early, Excalibur said he has a very good generic defense down. So if you aren't bringing that somewhere else in the party, Zell can cover you there if you don't bring enough debuffs. So that's a nice little bit, but he's mostly a selfish character who you're going to be relying on for the rebreaks and the damage he brings. But he's very competitive in that role. I think that like he got overshadowed because Titus is a much more popular character with similar role coverage, but Zell won't let you down if you pick him up. Yeah, all the Zell fans should be uh, incredibly happy here. Um, the hot dog chicken wuss is uh, finally, for the first time in Defo, uh, staking his own claim. He's got a he, he. There's other characters that fill his niche. I think I'm allowed to say niche still. Um, cool, but, Alan. But he does he does uh, what he does well. If you're if you're a Zell fan, it won't hurt to pick him up. Bart. Yeah, Zell, uh, he he fits pretty neatly into this archetype we've seen throughout the game of the the kind of the turn hogging damage dealer. Uh, he does it well because he has a lot of ways to some of it, you know, he has a lot of ways to kind of guarantee that you know that additional turn, uh, especially with the LD. Uh, the way it works basically is it makes all of his hits re-break during the duration of it, and he gets a free turn on break similar to Aranea. So he's going to be doing a bunch of Break delays, a bunch of attacks, and we have characters like Kor, Young, Cloud of Darkness, X Death, who can all take advantage of that. <laughs> and that is just splendid. And on top yeah. Of that, you know, he also, like, except, you know, that little 60% defense down is kind of nice because it, it's part of that self sufficiency we talk about. You know, you don't need to build it into the, in around him. He already just kind of brings it on his own in case, and if you have something better, then it overwrites it. Yeah, Cross 13 said the 10, the 10 turn sweaty character. Zell is a very sweaty character. Pretty much, yeah. Zell is a little bit intensive, but I think you just have to play him a little bit, and you'll kind of like intrinsically understand the way his skills flow into each other and when to use them. And the base versions of his skills are instant, or don't add to the turn count, so that kind of fixes a lot of the problems that he might have had, like if he ate too many turns, like kind of like. For example, Alice is like an outdated character now, but her issue for Lufenia area is that she doesn't do enough damage to... Hi, Fenny. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Fenny. Uh, glad to make it. 
and howdy, she howdy. doesn't really do enough damage to make up for the fact that every time she's clicking a button, a turn ticks on the counter. Zell, half of Zell's moves are instant turn rate now, so they aren't going to be adding to that counter, and he just gets basically free damage that he can chain into, so... Yeah, I'm pretty, like, I wish I, I'm not pulling for Zell because I have a ton of things coming up and I don't really have any attachment to the character at all, but Zell fans, FF8 fans, people who need a decent turn stealer, maybe if you miss Terra or Titus or whoever, I would say pick him up. He's a great choice. Yeah, he's a, he's a great character. He's one of those, uh, I, one of my personal favorite little, uh, on release characters are ones they don't really break the game but if you're a big time fan of that specific unit um like me with zidane um they can really really help you out they're as good you know they're up to current standards and uh if you have like a completely stacked roster already maybe he's not you know absolutely necessary but if you pick him up you're gonna get mileage out of him as long as you want to get the mileage out of him. Yeah, one thing I do want to add quickly is that Zell actually is quite good in Lufenia Plus. Like, there's kind of memes about the bad timing for the Yuna and Excess cycle, but Zell in particular has results in some very hard fights in the upcoming month. Pandemonium, he has a no party main deletion clear, so there's like a lot of good use for him, and he's a very competitive DPS. Finally. Hi, Rogue. Thanks for coming. Finally, Zell getting some... Uh... Yeah, it's it, it must feel very vindicating if you're a fan of a character who has been god-awful for years to finally see them shine. That must feel so good. <laughs> I can't, like... I don't have that, like, personal um, experience, but I'm sure, like, many long-time day one players, much as we like to meme them, will be very happy with how their Zell looks. Yeah, day one... Uh, day one free-to-play, by the way. And, uh... <laughs> I'm looking forward to Zell. I, I am Reality skipping. Theorist to rain on our Zell parade. Predictable, yeah. but welcome to the stream. Thanks for yeah. coming. Welcome, Reality Theorist. Um, I'm skipping for reasons we spoke of earlier. I think now is a good time to interject that uh, Zidane is coming. I'm not going to gush for hours and hours, but um, the stream for Squex is Monday, and they'll be announcing the uh, first BT Plus uh, units, which are Ishtola and Zidane. Um, join us. The night that Zidane drops, I will be instant pity, instant blue, instant green, um, all the above Zidane. The, the greatest fictional character of all time beyond behind Kimpachi of Zoraki, but uh, we'll be here for a big party. I don't know if I don't know if Blart and Zoe will be able to make it on that day, but hopefully they will. And uh, we'll be here for a, an off an off schedule uh, live stream for Zidane. Uh, Blart, are you excited for Zidane? Yes. I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped. I've always actually been really uh, really into Zidane. He actually was the first character in Defo that I uh, I got I got equipment for. I got his I think 1535 back. You know, it was early into the EX era, and I was like, this is the character I'm going to build my whole team around. And <laughs> yeah. and he uh, Obviously, you know, as you learn more about the game, it uh, that doesn't really pan out, but I've always been very strongly attached to him because I was like, I hadn't played Final Fantasy IX, so I had to go to my, my at the time, girlfriend, later wife, and be like, is, is this Aww. character any good? I, can I like him? Is he okay? Is he, is he secretly an <laughs> asshole? She, she was like, no, 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 Zidane's really cool, yada, yada, kind of gave me the, the rundown now. It was very, it was very nice. So I've been looking forward to Zanambi two for a while. Uh, his new costume looks dope. I know it's, you know, it's like a cameo, it's like a cameo at the end of the game kind of thing, but it looks cool yeah. as hell. The, the the upgrades he gets are sweet as shit. Um, which I'm just swearing all, all over the place now. <laughs> You're just the Zidane He's hype so is taking over Zidane. you. We I can don't save think the, the only thing he has over Exith is that he can use his burst effect twice. But mm. I will grant you that Zidane looks dope as hell. Yeah. Um. Zoe, you're gonna pull. Uh, I think we should, after this, let's, let's have a little discussion about uh, the BT well, Plus era because it's coming. This is probably my this is probably my last episode of the live stream because don't I don't it. think I'm don't gonna pull the dawn. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do it, but uh -huh. who knows? Maybe maybe I will. But I think he looks incredible, and you honestly like. I'm making a video about this before Lufania Plus starts, but. 
every character that releases in October is incredible in some way, and like just load up on everybody in the first two cycles. They're so good, <laughs> yeah. and they're all like all the hard fights are kind of front loaded in the Lufenia Plus era. So you're gonna I'm, I'm not gonna say too much about this, but you're gonna get more value pulling on the earlier characters to release. Because they're going to help you through harder fights. So just pull as many as you can if you want to. If yeah. you like the characters, I would always, especially during October, say do it. But Zidane looks great. I think all the first four BT pluses are amazing. And I'm saving for Ace. Sorry. Ugh. The pro tag who's not even a pro tag in his own game. Uh, I don't know who the Shut other up. person is here. but <laughs> Oh, Blart and Yoshi Pasta in my co-op. Uh, you guys want to see oh, the power sure. of blue of blue uh, gold uh, gold best? Jesus Christ! <laughs> You're uh, mixing up armored Alexa. man that has a fondness <laughs> for. <laughs> oh, we got three. Oh, oh my God! How do I? I'm backing out. We got a we, <laughs> we got a burster. We got a burster in a co-op. Come on! Got to do the showcase. It does look pretty cool. It does look okay. cool. But, uh, got some Ace fans in the chat. Got we do have splits. some Ace fans. We do have some Ace it. fans. Um, so we're, we're caught up with current content and what's coming out tonight. We got about um, 20 minutes left. So we should probably talk about the Zonde Lost Chapter Lufania before we do Oh, yeah, it's coming up. up. Oh, yeah, it is coming up tonight. Do you? Are, uh, like Zoe. Yeah, it's coming up in 20 minutes. Zoe, what do we get tonight with uh, the Zonde LC? Oh, uh, we get a Lufenia that's probably the... Hmm, I actually don't... I haven't read a ton about the Vivi fight, so I'm not going to say it's the easiest one, but it's going to be easier than the X-Death Raid. It is a 2 wave Lufenia, so a nice little change-up from the usual 1-Wave pace. Um, first, you fight the kind of like Sarlacc Pit-looking dude, the, the flower thing. I think it's like an Ocho or something. I forget what it's called exactly. But... Um. You fight one of those in wave one. There's no orb, so it's kind of just filler until you get... Oh, Chew! Thank you, Cross. Oh, Chew. It's kind of just filler until you get to the wave two, which... Uh, you're fighting, like, some sort of dogs, I think. God, I am the worst <laughs> at this. Because I haven't... I haven't... Like, I wasn't around for Sunday's event. I don't know what he's doing, some but... Some dogs. <laughs> some, some assault dogs is what they're called. So, you have a orb that is... A l Again, following the theme of X-Death Cycle, kind of on the restrictive side, you have plus one dark damage and plus one two breaks. So that lends itself to more fast-paced teams, which fits Zell, who is the featured LD, obviously. Zonde for his enchants, and Zonde does also have some rebreaks. And X-Death is kind of more leaning towards his burst effect for this fight, but he also chews through the shields they do, and... He can help mitigate their damage if you do end up giving them turns, but most people are going to be going the no turn route during this fight because that is the path of least resistance. So that's kind of what you can expect. I don't think this one is going to give people a ton of trouble. There's friend units are going to be carrying a ton of mileage for this one. I think that Cloud of Darkness friend, Sp Sephiroth friend especially, is going to be popular here because... Oh yeah. He's going to be constantly unbreaking them, and you're going to be able to delay the orb for a lot longer than... Yeah, oh, you already know. There's going to be tons of Terra Yang with Sephiroth friend. Let's That's... go, Terra Yang. Can... <laughs> Raw Life's favorite is when you can Terra Yang a fight. <laughs> uh, but basically, there are a lot of, like, more options than you would think for Rebreakers at this point in the game. I think Aranea and Null are both going to be excellent here. Titus for a BT character with a ton of Rebreaks is going to be awesome. Um, who else could shine here? Terra we talked about already. Something to note about Titus is that he's mostly single target, so you'll have to be kind of careful. You might have to rely on the might even need Zonda to enchant the dark or something. Yeah, for Titus, the BT phase does put in a lot of work because he gets those jet shots with the AoE rebreaks twice as fast. Uh, yeah, I was, I was also going to experiment with the Leon team. I'm not really sure who I'm bringing first, but I think Leon in the right with the right support could like at least help you with the orb to kind of take it a little bit slower than you normally have to. Um, yeah, what do you guys have any thoughts about who you're going to bring? I uh, obviously Terry Ong sounds great, but uh, <laughs> but um, at first I want to try to get Golbez through it. Uh, I know dark damage you need to also break. So uh, anybody with 
I know we already mentioned, but Sephiroth. Any Sephiroth friend units tonight, you're going to get your gill tomorrow because uh, he can set up all those re-breaks over and over and over. And uh, hopefully Golbez. I, I wish Golbez enchanted the party uh, and not just himself, but maybe with a Sephiroth friend, I'll get Golbez through this one. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to have Zonde or Zell. Blart, what are you thinking about this fight tonight? 16 minutes to go. Yeah, I, uh, I've given some thought to it. I haven't quite settled because from what I, because it's two wave, I'm thinking that the damage is going to be, requirement is going to be less than I kind of expect it to be. But, you know, Golbez, Strago, uh, to make use of my Sephiroth BT because I've barely done that since uh, a couple of folks talked me into pulling that. <laughs> um, or token that I should say. A uh, frog, <laughs> frog, the artist, formerly known as Cynical God, Worry Chad, gifted a sub and it went to Cross Thirteen, fan of friend of the show. Thank you, uh, Worry Chad. Um, ooh, one strategy which I was uh, thinking of, but Zero Eye Brave is probably going to be really funny here. Oh so. yeah, you could totally oh, pull yeah. off some good, good M Brave, I Brave down some stuff. kind of Zero Eye Brave type team, depending on. Uh, that's gonna be like that's gonna be a challenge run special if they do one for for M Brave I Brave because that's not gonna require any of the the best characters for the fight and it will make the orb a lot easier. So I think that could end up being pretty popular. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I, you know, you know, it's always interesting who the damage deal you have to bring for that is. Ultimacy is really good for it. Golbez is really good for it. So I might play around with that. That's always a fun time to do. Yeah, I'm. Um, Thinking about it more, I might actually try main party Cloud of Darkness for this one. I was thinking, Ooh, like, yeah. I could do something interesting with a Sephiroth friend, is that while I have the Sephiroth friend up, Cloud of Darkness would be able to do their normal attacks very well and get the zero forms faster. But then when Sephiroth friend left, I could switch kind of, like, approaches to the fight and maybe have my Cloud of Darkness do their first phase, and then I could have some instant turn rates. Like, if this could be a way for me to meme Queen through the stage, even though I don't think she'd be, like, the best choice here. Uh, Soraya, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh, Soraya nice the Rancher. Today. Omar, thank you so much, Soraya. We appreciate you. Friend but yeah, I think, I think that, that little Cloud of Darkness Sephiroth combo could be very fun. Yeah, no, that that sounds like it's going to be good times. I might... I might have to bust up the Cloud of Darkness. It, it sounds like there are a lot of good options for, for this fight. Yeah, I don't think this one is the... very... Res like, I think it, this one is, like, on paper, the orb sounds kind of scary, but the fight itself being two waves, and the orb does take a break, so you have it from 100 to 80%, and then you get the 80 to 60%, which is going to be no orb, and then from 60 to 0 is the final one, but... You can have a burst phase. You can have Diablo summon. We'll give you a nice, a nice plus six on your orb with a couple oh, extras from yeah. the, from the uh, yeah. the breaks you get in the middle of the phase. So and the DPS, like, I can check what the total HP is for this really quickly. I don't think it's super super high because it's yeah. a, it's a seventy turn two wave fight. So it it can't be that crazy. No cross thirteen in the chat. Big time null runner. Uh, you guys check out cross thirteen on YouTube. Um, friend of the show he is saying you can actually dps this fight so easily so it's probably not it's probably not that uh tanky um if you're bringing a burst friend or if you're bringing a friend a burst unit and a summon uh seems to me like we should be able to uh, rush it uh daniel yeah. invite me to co-op now it's in an interesting thing about this fight for me is thinking about uh, where you know and whose cycle it shows up in X death doesn't break, so in theory, I think he's going to have a rough time on this fight. He is also he's really good against shields, though. And one of the mechanics the dogs do throw up is they throw up these, I think like 30k shields. They're honestly not the shields aren't that big a deal. I think in the original fight, the shields were a bit more of a problem because you uh, they were t they were tougher to get through, and he you know you need to deal, deal dark damage at the time. But yeah, I'm curious to see if uh, if X death ends up being helpful or hurting because of the whole no break but good against shields dynamic. Yeah, he does. Um, he handles the fight mechanics well, even though he doesn't like handle the orb or the the racing part as well. Like his BT effect obviously can, but I don't think he'd be the first choice there. Hi, Dane. Welcome to the stream. Dane Jr. Uh, in the chat. But they do. Um, they do become undelayable when their their shields are up. So X Death will have you like if you're running like a faster team, X Death can help you with those at least. So there's some reasons to bring him, even though he won't be like the first choice for everybody. Um, they. Do take increased elemental damage across 13 is pointing out while well, the shield is up so that's yeah I, th I think it's 
we're gonna be able to get around this. There's actually yeah, okay, so, so, so I completely <laughs> forgot to mention player. while doing the uh, the X step tutorial stuff that I wanted to bring up is in terms of him being really good for zero boss turn fights. Uh, as a friend unit, he has this nifty thing because he can drop his uh, what call it? He can drop his EX debuff onto them. So in the event that you goof it up and give them a turn and they're trying, they try to kill you, you have a turn from dealing no damage. Basically, what I'm trying to say is X Death is the perfect character. <laughs> just um, we'll never fail you. We'll carry you through every Lufenia Plus. Just a uh, Church of X Death, everybody. X Death is the best the character void. in the game until Embrace next the void. week. Until next week when Zidane, the best best character, appears. Speaking and then of in which, two, in two weeks, Ace appears and trumps oh them both. Oh my god! Speaking of which, you know I'm a big Segway yeah, fan. I'll, uh, I'll be in to tuck you in shortly. Good night, son. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, Goose. We appreciate that. Goose, thank you so much for staying up late for us, man. You guys check out Goose on YouTube. Um, you guys, we're on the cusp of a a brand new a brand new game era. I mean, we had LDs for a long time. They're still coming, obviously. Almost done in JP. Um, EX is before that, and we're about to enter um, Burst Plus. Uh, it's exciting and terrifying. Um, Blart, who are you going to Burst Plus? Who are you going to green? And uh, are you excited about this new and uh, terrifying juncture in the game? I am excited. I actually I needed to catch my breath for a second because Cross Thirteen <laughs> just mentioned X Death BT Plus, and I had to like catch my breath. So, <laughs> Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm I am excited for this. In a, I'm also I'm of two minds. So right. on the one hand, Burst Plus is going to be a huge jump in power for characters, um, specific characters, Burst characters. Right. And that's a wider ra range of people than we originally thought when this whole thing started, because you know now they're giving a, basically anyone who can remotely be justified as a Burst character that weapon. <laughs> um, but that being said um it, it's a weird thing because i'm kind of it does take some of the power away from ld characters they're still usable there's still plenty of ld only runs you're gonna see uh if you follow listless set on youtube uh she is very regular with the uh, the ld only runs in on jp side of things um so you know if there's some concern about power creep but it's i don't think it's entirely founded it just there are going to be a lot of people who just stomp through content using stack for stacking. Effects. Yeah, it, it becomes much easier to do that. Yeah, entire party be burst effects. What I do kind of like about burst plus is similar to what I like about blue armor, and that is it allows for a kind of ex uh, creative expression, and that's something I like about this game. There isn't a whole lot of room for customization. Uh, spheres and nominally can be. To, you can call it that, but let's be real. All spheres really do is like you know give you a very modest boost and let you kind of have some fancy jewelry. They yeah. look pretty. Blue armor and burst plus. Those are very soft. Those are specific commitments of a very limited resource to re to materially increase the power of certain characters. And when you commit to that character, you say I'm into this character either mechanically or as like a kind of thematic thing. You know, RBK repping blue Fujin. Um, blue Jim. Because, because he loves. Fujin, and so he sent Bluejin. He's the Bluejin guy, and he reps that, and that's his thing. Uh, you know, Cross Thirteen and I are repping the Blue X Death because we are basically better than all of you. You know, it just it, that's how it goes. <laughs> um, and I love that kind of ca that custom, you know, that feeling of customization. Early on, it's going to feel weirdly restrictive and annoying because the Burst Plus characters are going to feel so much better than the non Burst Plus Plus characters, and more so than even more so than the LD characters. But that's every era has that. It's similar to the EX Plus stuff. Like you know, purple cloud when he uh, when chaos dropped, um, where it's going to feel a little restrictive. We're going to feel the pinch when a new error drops, and it's going to feel a little bit like an oh man, you know, stolen Bart's and Ace and Zidane are so much better than all these other you know the my the, the Yuna that I like or the you right. know, the Terra that I like. But that's going to even out in time. They're they're going to catch up. I apologize by the way, my neighbors are moving furniture above me. It uh, sounds like it sounds something. like you're in a ghost movie. Are you okay? It's very scary. It's very just scary. paranormal activity. It's like a I, really creepy. X Death is coming to claim you for the void. <laughs> the you're, void you're, is you're opening. Devoted him too I much. Am in, I am in and amongst the void as we speak. So, oh yeah, no. Um, Where Chad is also a blue X Death user. He has. Uh, he claims to have better spheres than me. Unfortunately, he is incorrect in that assessment. Oh. Really <laughs> drama. I don't this is going to be a big drama. Has. It's not about. It's not about that. It's about the commitment, uh, emotionally. And I know Warrior Chat has no emotions, so I know I'm safe there. So, <laughs> um, 
thank you, WordChat, for supporting this the channel. We love seeing you here. Um, but yeah, I love that creative, that, that freedom of expression that uh, that Blue Armor gives. It lets you commit to your favorite character and say, these are the ones, you know, and I'm rewarded for that commitment. Burst Plus is a similar deal, although we won't be seeing that side of it until later down the line. I mean, some of us will be seeing, you know, Raw is going to be championing Zidane VT B B Plus for the next three years, and that's going to be great and awesome. Some, some people are going to have to wait longer, and that's yeah. fine. I'm, I personally, I have the day Gilgamesh gets his BT plus marked on my calendar, which is wild <laughs> because Scrubs hasn't even announced when that's going to be, and I have it. Just, just put it in the planner. You psychically read it. You know. I'll have to send Josh an angry letter if I'm wrong, but that's a whole no another thing. Um, but I think that's a really neat thing for the game is that that ability to express yourself in terms of kind of committing to your your absolute favorites. Yeah. Anyway, I, that's enough for me. Jesus. Yeah. So basically, you guys are about to enter a new, a new era of the game where um, for ingots, you can increase your uh, burst weapons to burst plus, and then they can do, they have another uh, ability to use their burst finisher at any time. So you can stack burst effects, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's a lot of power creep, like, like uh, Blart just said, and black cloud, uh, black Nero YouTube, check him out. He, he did a great video um, maybe last week. Uh, getting everyone ready for this new era. And he, he's a big time JP player as well. So he knows what he's talking about when he says um, the worst feeling, obviously I don't know what I'm talking about, but the worst feeling is having a green. The green is, is the slang for a, a burst plus um, a, a, a green that you don't use. So I would advise people who aren't sure who they want to green, who they want to, uh, move into this new era with to watch that video because it is a limited resource um more limited than blues blue armor i believe and uh, you don't want to get stuck you know with a character that you blue that you greened uh, and you're not using them so uh just be careful be smart uh zoe what are your plans for for burst plus and are you excited um, I'm kind of like trying to go with the flow and not plan super <laughs> hard for my burst pluses. The only ones I'm kind of locked into are obviously Ace and Machina. And then I blew my Shantoto, so I feel like I'm probably going to invest in hers as well when she comes out. So those are the only ones I'm like for sure on. But Ace obviously is the only one that's relevant in the near future. But I'm more excited probably for Lufenia Plus itself and like what the new difficulty is going to bring and seeing the creative runs that the GL community uh, is going to be bringing to the table because fights always get diversified their results a little bit more in global for us to see. It's like it's easier for us to see all the cool runs because you don't have to hunt them down like from Japanese YouTubers or Asian YouTubers and stuff. Yeah. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what cool people things come up with like i think pandemonium is going to be a really fun uh testing ground for like no party deletions a meat italian runs even i don't know some crazy person doing an ultimisha run with some other characters like i could see that happening it'll be really cool to see and uh yeah i'm like i don't think i have like a ton to say right now but burst i agree with blur about burst plus customization being really cool and kind of giving you like a, a way to feel like your game is your game and you're choosing unique things compared to everybody else so that's a cool way to like diversify everything again and it's gonna be like very rare to have the exact same burst pluses as somebody so you're gonna have to approach fights differently unless you bring Bart's half mount and Sid Reigns to everything but that can we can talk about Ugh. another time Ugh. skip skip Sid Reigns Skip Didn't you just talk about how much you love Terry Young, just to be clear? <laughs> All right. You guys, I know we're only eight episodes in, but we are on the verge of a serious uh, uh, inner inner tur turmoil taking place. Um, Blart and Zoe are teaming up on me, but that's a story for another day. Uh, we're, we're only three minutes away from uh, Zell. So can I get some Zell LD hype in the chat, please? Feeling it. Um, Hot dogs in the chat, please. I do have a question. Uh, I see. I'm seeing powder keg, charge, and boost as the uh, artifacts for lion, and then buff attack boost up. Powder keg, charge, and boost. Is that charged powder keg boost two star? Yeah, you want uh, to charge charge powder keg boost 
and you want buff attack boost up. Okay. Those so the, the verbiage, the verbiage is a little different from what I'm reading. Um, you guys check out Tonberry Troop. They get all the. Uh, that's where I get all my, and everybody gets all their artifacts. I don't actually look into the math because math is for nerds. Uh, I just find the uh, perfect artifacts through tonberrytroop.com. A lot of good work there. But yeah, powder, keg, charge, and boost is what I'm looking for. Is that right? They uh, they revamp a lot of the artifact terminology uh, a while back, and I wouldn't be surprised if some of it, uh, some of the old verbiage is still there. Yeah, powder, keg, charge, and boost, two star. Um, I'm just getting my LD Lion, who I got on a free ticket, by the way. I'm just getting her all set just, up. For... Just brack it up more. You've only mentioned it like four times. For for Lufania Plus, you know, I got the I got flex. my uh I got my free oh, lion. Yeah. yeah, I got my free lion ready to go. Uh she does have cursed artifacts though. I'm a little stressed out right now. Thanks for coming, Excalibur. Excalibur, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you. You guys check out Excalibur. A lot of great runs. Just quit. Skip that. Um, is anyone pulling on Zell and Zonday tonight? Or do you, get, you already have Zonday? Um, so here's the thing. I tokened X-Death's first weapon the moment it came out, so I'm avoiding his entire cycle as hard as I can because I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I uh, <laughs> ended up with See... Team. Here's the so like you're doing the smart thing. You tokened and are skipping. Raw is burst pitying and then not skipping the cycle. So Listen, we're gonna see what happens there. I'm I'm gonna try to hide it if it blows up in my face. But <laughs> here's the here's the truth. Zidane's coming out uh, probably next uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Uh, we'll be live for that. Hopefully, Blart, Blart and Zoe, go ahead and. Um, uh, commit your time. If when Zidane comes live, uh, are you guys going to commit to spending time with me in my moment of happiness in this horrible world that tries to break me and beat me down every day? Will you support me um, in uh, burst pitying? I, I will be able to say, so long as it doesn't happen on a Wednesday, <laughs> and uh, my wife doesn't tell me we have other plans, I will be happy <laughs> to support you. I love Bart, and I I love that truth. That's honesty. Zoe, please be there with me. I I worry that I would bring the vibe down because I'm I'm a dirty Zidane skipper. Oh yeah, dirty uh, Zidane skippers. Are See, like this is my last live stream. This is it. I mm -hmm. now that the the truth's out, it's over. Yeah, you guys don't forget to watch the uh, Square stream on Monday to find out um, when specifically Zidane is. And uh, I'll give him. I'll, look, I'll give him a good old thirteen ticket challenge. How about that? Okay, I respect that. All you need is the LD to be able to use him for at least a couple fights. Um, but yeah, going yeah, into the, speaking of the 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 burst pity, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, he's a favorite, so I am burst pitting him day one. But unfortunately for me, unlike X Death, whose his cycle is a little trash, um, Zadon cycle is really strong, and so I actually have to pull throughout the rest of the cycle as well but I can't go to sleep night one uh, knowing Zidane is out in the world and I don't have him so uh, Sid Reigns it. it's Sid stupid Reigns, but I respect it Yeah, see that's the perfect response it is stupid I'm aware it's stupid but I have to do it yeah. who all is on that Sid, uh, Sid Reigns um, um, Athmo, Sid Reigns, yeah. Sink yeah, Technically, see. Beatrix and, Re and Renault are getting yeah, their boards. Beatrix and Renault get They'll boards. And then yeah. um, Sync with Guy's Lost Chapter, Athma and Tifa yeah. on the campaign banner, and Sid Reigns with Mog. Yeah. Renault's boards are actually pretty sweet. I think uh, not enough folks are giving her the respect she deserves. Uh, yeah, they're decent. I think it's more like... She's so old, people are she like... She gets kind of overshadowed by Ishtola in terms of like... Re Renault's more, a little more DPS focused, but... Ishtola has a burst, wait, so wait. it's... How does that work when... So, when it goes live, Zidane and Ishtola will be green eligible. Yep, they does will. It, does Ishtola appear on the banners, or is she just uh, like a... Oh yeah, so it's it's a Zidane, Beatrix, and I think Realm is the EX plus on that one, and then it's um, Ishtola, Renoa as the reruns, and then somebody else. So Ishtola does every... Every green 
uh, eligible uh, BT plus character will also appear on the yeah. The so basically, the way the way the Lufenia plus like the burst plus era cycles work is that you get the new character is like the usual one where their burst will show up on all the other banners in the cycle, and then you also have releasing with them is a returning burst that gets upgraded to burst plus. So like with Ace, Bart's is the burst plus that gets upgraded. Then you have Vayne and Cloud of Darkness, and so on and so on. Okay. So it's a whole new era with banners and everything. Uh, Zonday LC is live. We'll go through that next week, I'm sure. Um, Blart, Zoe, uh, I think we're nearing the end. Do you guys have anything else uh, you want to get off your chests? Blart, we'll start with you. Uh... Yeah, you had actually asked who I was looking to green, and I'm probably going to go with the, the fairly conventional choices of Ishtola and Bartz. Um, because, specifically because they have Brave Gain on their burst pluses. <laughs> Blart only means... was looking for one thing. Brave Gain memes, that's it. Men only want one thing. You, you know who loves <laughs> the, the Brave Gain out. Out. <laughs> You know who it is. And it's disgusting. The big guy loves the Brave Gain ups. He does. I, I gotta say, I uh, for a while I was going back and forth between Exeth and Gilgamesh as to who's my absolute favorite, and I loves me some Gilgamesh, but uh, this cycle has confirmed for me that I there is no one better in this game than Exeth. There has been a happiness radiating from you, and it's very yeah, apparent it's, to see for anyone yeah. who's been talking to you. It's been really great, and then it goes to me for Zidane, and then it goes really soon to Zoe for Ace. Like, we, we've got mm -hmm. a great uh, we've got a great month. Yeah, this is like like all the hits are playing one after another it's really I know. Cute. I like it. everyone gets to uh, experience pure joy um among the co-hosts um i'm gonna rush through this uh lost chapter before i go to bed but uh i think are we done for the week you guys you have a, anything else to uh add zoe um i think i'm good yeah i think i pretty much covered it uh, in terms of discussion, we've we've pretty much covered. It. I mean, we can we can commentate on the delightful uh, cutscenes that they provide us with uh, every lost chapter. That'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> we can, yeah. We can criticize Raw as he auto pluses his way through the easy fights. Well, the hard uh, fights, I should say. Check out this uh, auto plus scene, though. I mean, does it oh. get better than Yuffie? Uh, hold on, I gotta go to auto plus, not auto. Oh, actually, oh, Where's, this is fucked yeah, up. Blue Palum putting oh, in the work. Of the Blue Palum. <laughs> yeah, but Hell Palum. Yeah. Hold on, this is a huge problem. Palum oh. and Yuna work best in auto, just normal auto teams. Yuffie That's has to. Not true anymore, is it? I thought Palum can auto plus now with Mycidian Ice Crystal. Yeah, it takes forever though, and he does his um, he does his uh, LD first. Well, you just take the skills off, Raw. You, you should know this. I'm not taking skills off of my blue palum. He's. What if I have to? <laughs> what I have to? What are you using for besides farming? Uh, hey, what if I have to take him to a really tough fight? Like you never know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to get into a really tough. You make Lufania. me laugh. You uh, make me laugh. I, I might have a really tough Lufania coming up, and uh, all my skills are off. Like I'm gonna miss the HP requirement on the level fucking thirty fight. Wait, Arthur Dane in chat says, uh, kid, are you kidding me? It just got an XF Duke BT on tickets. Also got the first BT on tickets. Arthur Dane having some good, good luck right now. You'd love to see it. Congratulations, Arthur. That's spectacular. Yeah. Respect. Are these the, uh... These are, these, will, these are the dogs you'll have to fight. Oh, yeah, they're like, they got machine guns. What the fuck? That's yeah. crazy. These are like... <laughs> Yeah, these are like armored Cerberuses with, uh, instead of two heads, they have fucking chain guns. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, I think that wraps it up for us tonight. Yeah, we are going to be back next week. What do we have? Uh, I guess Monday will be the Squeck stream. You guys watch oh, the Squeck stream. Wait. No promises. I might be streaming FF7 this Wednesday. Oh, yeah, we're going to try we, to get... We figure it out. We're going to see if we can get yeah. the technical stuff we're... working, but that could be happening. Yeah. So that's we're something gonna, to look forward to, I guess. We're going to do our best to get Zoe on the uh, on the stream so that she can get 
her first ever, no spoilers in chat, by the way, her first ever playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. Come which on. I've avoided most of the spoilers with no no Come thanks on. to Defo, which throws spoilers yeah. like candy. Yeah. But Basically, there's some... Um, Aerith is doing well, yeah. but I don't know anything <laughs> else about the game. <laughs> yeah, Aerith, Aerith has a great time. Uh, her narrative is just really happy. Um, unfortunately, Defo, the very first cutscene of every lost chapter is just a list of people who died in their game. <laughs> like, I don't know how they thought that would work as like a narrative for a, uh, a license, but they're just like, oh, this is a Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy VII uh, chapter. Here's everyone who died and how they died. So uh, hopefully that hasn't spoiled your experience, um, but we'll try to get her on this week. Uh, can you do it Wednesday? Zoe, if, if um, that was that right. the plan, yeah. yeah but there's gonna be there's gonna be a hole in the typical the typical week life cycle because yeah. rant, BC is a little bit on vacation, so no ranting hour on Wednesday. So we are gonna hopefully snatch that spot up. Yeah, let's watch Zoe play some, uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy VII for the first time ever. It'll, um, it'll be a ranting hour because Zoe will spend the hour ranting about the game. Probably, I'm I'm not a like huge this? JRPG player to be honest, so I, I might be <laughs> ranting. We'll see. Why does everybody like this? Well, I don't understand it. Uh, it'll be great. Um, Blart, you have anything to say before we head out for the week? Uh, I'm still haunted by furniture ghosts upstairs, and it is terrifying. <laughs> oh, God. It sounds like paranormal anyway, activity in your house. It probably is. And I will And I will just say, uh, everyone, regardless of how the fights are, restrictive or not, uh, enjoy this cycle. It is the best cycle we're going to get, at least until next <laughs> death gets his BT+. Plus. Zoe, any last words? Save for Ace. Oh my god. Um, ignore her. And uh, thank you guys for real for hanging out with us. I put uh, Zoe and Blart's YouTubes in the chat. Uh, subscribe to them. Give them. They've got some good content coming out. Um, and we really appreciate everybody coming through every Monday, 8:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the live stream. Uh, this has been a real fun uh, experience for us. We're really loving it, and uh, we're loving you guys hanging out with us. So thanks again. We will be back next Monday, and uh, uh, we will have some information on the uh, brand new uh, era of the game. Uh, Blart, we'll see you Monday. Zoe, see you Monday. Adios. See you Bye -bye. guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming. <laughs>